What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Luis Coach Review, back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review and a showcase on Negus Mod and Sun. That's right. I got this Mechanical Tube Mod, I would say about a month ago. Uh, respectively, I got it a month ago, and I've been using it on a daily regimen. Pretty much every day, part of my everyday rotation. Um, now, for those of you who collect mechanical tube mods, you're probably like me. You love a good story behind a mechanical tube mod. It's not just buying a tube mod, put a battery in it, does it hit hard. I like there to be some sort of storyline behind the mechanical tube mod, whether how it was made, or the company it comes from, or the country it comes from, or some sort of inspiration that led to the mechanical tube mod. I do this a lot with a lot of mechanical tube mods I buy. You know, I see them and I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa, that's nice, I gotta have it. That's the first thought that comes to mind. Then I look it up and I'm like, whoa, I like the name. And then, whoa, I like the story, and whoa, why did they use that button? Why did they use this? Why did they do that? Like, I, I go through those questions in my mind. Why, 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 why? And I email people, and I email the owners. I try and get in touch with the right people and ask those questions. And and most of the time, people are just like, you know, you know, some people are like, I don't know, we thought it was cool. And then other people are just like, well, the inspiration that led to this design was this. Okay, now, Negus Mod and Son is a company out of Italy. Okay, um, I did the reveal on a vape mail video already previously in the past, but you know, if you haven't seen it, now you get to see the showcase. And I'm gonna call this the showcase because there's really nothing I could say bad about this mechanical tube mod, there's really nothing bad to say about it. So, this is gonna be a look my personal opinion and that's it i could nitpick little imperfections because in every piece of artwork out there nothing is perfect you know there could be a slight imperfection that was overlooked but not really a big deal you know especially for me because overall this mechanical tube mod is something spectacular okay first off when i opened this box right i didn't know what it was when i got it so I was like, wow, cool box. It's a handmade wood box. And I'll tell you this. I like wooden boxes. I like anything that comes in a wood box. If something comes in a wood box, I'm like, whoa. You know? Like this, for instance. My Asmodis uh, Omzium comes in this wood box. I was like, wow, Asmodis did something cool. They did a decorative box. Okay. And then Squidode. <laughs> or Squid Dude, as everyone calls him, gave me his RDA in this cool ass box. I was like, whoa, you know, that's awesome. I love that, you know. I love things that come in decorative wood boxes. Not that I'm going to keep the box. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Who knows? But I like decoration. I like people who put that extra effort in to send out a, a device in a nice decorative box. To me, I'm sold. Because if you're going to spend 200 and something dollars on a mechanical tube mod, you want it to come in a box. That's how I feel. I don't want to get it in a bubble wrap inside of a cardboard box inside of a Ziploc bag. No. Send it to me in a box. Get low box, uh, get low mods out of Russia. They got a handmade box, literally a handmade box that comes apart in pieces. But it's cool because it's, you know, a decorative box that comes apart and goes back together again. You know, that's cool, I like this. And it's simple, what did it take to make this? Nothing. So it just shows that people are crafty and they could come out with other things other than just a mechanical tube mod. They present their product well. Which is why Negus Mod and Sons they do these decorative boxes. Pretty cool. You know, what does this mean over here? I don't know. But you know what? It's still decorative. That's all that matters to me. Okay? So thank you for doing this box. I really appreciate it. And for those of you out there who are just like, 
eh, I can give a fuck about the box. Well, I do. I love this box. That's all I can say. Okay. Now moving forward. You open up the box. You know, it's got a little hinge on it. And inside is a little velvet baggie. There is a tool. Comes a little tool for your top hybrid connection to back out your hybrid connection. So that's cool. So I like that. And it also comes with a card that will list. It's like the authenticity card. Okay. You got an Ankh or an Ohm symbol there. I think that's a Ohm, like a meditation Ohm symbol. Then it says Indra Black. And this is number 42, and it is signed, okay, by the owner, Mattia, all right? And it's telling you there in that little diagram, no, for the positive pin protruding, it says do not, you know, mount a RDA that does not have a protruding positive pin. And where it says C, which means yes, it shows you a positive pin protruding from the RDA. That's just them backing up saying, you know, Obviously, when you use a hybrid mechanical tube mod, use something with an elongated pin. Kind of like a battle deck or something of that nature that has an elongated pin. Uh, on the other opposite side, it does say Negus Mod and Sun. And there is Indra, God of the Heavens, up in a corner right there. Okay. Now, I... I started to, I was just like, wow, Indra. I was like, what does Indra mean? Because, you know, if you look at all the names of the mechanical tomb mods, they have the Darga, this and that. They have all these different names. And Indra sounded familiar to me because it's something that came up in the past to me, Indra. And then I, I said, you know what, let me just go online. Let me look up Hindu gods. Because that's what it reminded me of. Indra reminded me of the Hindu gods. And Indra was the king of all heavens okay uh indra was the ruler of all the heavens okay so you know like in the christian religion there's a heaven and over here there's a heaven over there's a heaven each religion has some sort of you know way of depicting a heaven but indra was the king of all heavens okay had a chariot of a thousand horses you know had a golden chariot that had a thousand horses on it Indra was the god of lightning and thunder and rain. You know, kind of like in uh, Roman mythology, you had uh, Zeus. You know, Zeus was the god of thunder or, or was it Greek mythology? You know, god of thunder, father of Apollo, you know. And, uh, you know, there's, I like companies that follow some sort of theme based on mythology. And this is cool. This is what they did with this mod and this company, okay? So they gave each mechanical tube mod a specific name that has a specific storyline backing it up. And I thought that was cool. You know, you're not just buying a mechanical tube mod, you're buying somebody's vision and a story that goes behind it. Now, if you're Indra, you're god of the heavens, you got a 10,000 horse chariot, you're, you know, god of thunder and rain and so forth, you got to be pretty impressive. You know, you just can't be just a copper tube. You would have to look something amazing. So I got the Indra Black, and it comes in this blue velvet pouch. I was like, all right, cool, you know, a little velvet pouch, something to wipe down the mod when it starts getting dirty. And then I pull this bastard out, and I'm like... I was speechless, you know, especially the way it feels in the hand, you know. It's, it's a clear-coated mod... And it is brass, and it does have, um, it, it's it's just amazing, okay? I'm going to show you up close, and I'm also going to show you how they manufacture this. I got little clip videos on how they manufacture this, and you're going to be like, whoa, you know? This is a pretty impressive mechanical tube mod. Not only does it fire really well and handle very low builds, it's also short in height of a profile, and it's not like a gigantic device. It's not like 28 millimeters or anything like that. You know, it's a nice size. It feels great in the hands. And it just looks so majestic. The button is polished. I mean, everything about this mechanical tube mod is polished to the T. We're going to go up close. We're going to check everything out. But just so you guys know, when you first get this mechanical tube mod, all you are is impressed. Okay, you know where your money went 
when you bought this, okay? And you're just completely impressed. The whole time you own this mod, you're going to feel impressed. It feels great in the hand. It looks great. It fires great. It's just an overall solid mechanical tube mod. So let's go up close. Let's check it out. All oh, the bells and whistles. And we'll also check out some videos. So let's do this. Let's dive into how they manufacture this real quick. And you'll be pretty impressed. As you can see here, the inner diameter of this tube is measuring in at 17.70 millimeters, okay? The outside diameter of the tube bond is measuring in at 23.9, so just under 24 millimeters. And just the tube itself, without the switch, is measuring in at 75 nine almost 76 millimeters in height as you can see here we have the floor de lis that on the actual silver floor de lis you'll notice there is an n m for negus mod uh engraved on the floor de lis now the floor de lis is actually just placed in those pockets on this mechanical tube mod it's placed in that pocket and they hand lay that paint in there by hand, as you've seen in the previous video. This is the switch housing, which holds a square copper contact. Uh, has a similar style to a uh, Avid Life type of switch or a Screaming Tree Mod type of switch. Uh, the housing, you can see it holds a smaller magnet in the center and then in the bottom switch portion, will hold the beefier style magnet. Like I said, similar to an Avid Life type of switch. Down on the bottom of the switch, you can see there is another floor de lis with Negus Mod, the initials for Negus Mod sitting on top of the floor de lis, and I have number 42. The knurling is smooth, not as rough, which is nice because it's not something that's gonna dig into your finger. Threading is done real nice. Machining on these on this on this tube is excellent. Obviously, you place your beefier magnet into the lower switch portion, and the upper portion of the magnet, you could choose to opt out for a softer throw or a stronger throw, whichever you like. Simply just by separating these tube magnets and uh, placing them on your device uh, on your switch. So if you choose to have a softer throw, just remove one of these magnets, you'll have a softer throw. I like having the stiffest throw possible basically. That's me. I just appreciate a stiffer throw. It's so our copper contact. I've given this thing a ton of usage and have not needed to clean it. I haven't cleaned it yet. So it's gotten a ton of usage out of me. I use it often. What I love about this switch is that you don't need to open this all the way. You can have it open just a slight amount and the contact will move high enough. Threads are just smooth, so smooth. No grinding, no rattling, no nothing, just so smooth. Once again, this is our 510 removal tool. Uh, it just fits in there perfectly and nicely. It's not abrasive. So it's not going to scratch your hybrid connection at all. It just fits into place and does what it's supposed to do, which is back out this 510 hybrid connection. So we're back. So we've seen the up close. We've seen how they're made. We've seen the artistic expression that's involved with creating this mechanical tube mod. And I really do appreciate the time and effort that goes into creating something like this okay now 
most companies release tube mods just come out with you know a wide 28 27 26 24 millimeter wide uh, mechanical tube mod some people do a standard button some people do an intricate button some people include safety overall some people look at performance overall or comp styled mechanical tube mods there's a lot of different styled mechanical tube mods and a lot of tube mods differ from one another in one shape or form some are almost identical to other people's designs but they switch it up a little bit okay this one has a switch almost like an av mod or screaming tree mod based on the design of of the switch the way the magnets are the way the contact is the way the venting is but they put a lot of intricate um, design work and hand-painted design and a lot of hand-polishing from what you saw in the previous videos that, um, you know, this basically has a lot of blood, sweat, and tears involved in making. And I really do appreciate that. You know, mod at the price range that this is selling at, it is a high-end mod. It is a high-priced mod. It does hit very hard, okay? Doesn't mean it hits any less hard because the design factors there and the safety factors there you know there's a lot of good with this mechanical tube mod and it just performs really really well okay it has no battery rattle i got no battery rattle at all in here which is nice to see uh up and down or side to side there's no battery rattle so the the space that's between the inner tube and the battery itself is literally you know centimeters like super super small amounts of centimeters you know just tiny increments and that is just enough for the venting to pass if it were to vent through the top you got your vent holes up top if it were to vent in the bottom you have eight holes of venting on the bottom as well so either way if it's going to vent up top or vent on the bottom it's got enough uh passage for it to clear okay so that's not a problem so that's good to hear and see not only is it designed beautifully and you know hand painted on the whole nine yards it also has the safety features as well now uh, a lot of people sometimes ask me when i do a mechanical tube mod review they're like dude can i see what that mod looks like with this rda on it well as of lately the rdas that i've been using like in a, uh when i put this mod back together i had it with the reload rda okay the reload this is my gold plated reload rda this is a new version 1.2 the posts are a little bit spaced apart further and the post holes are a little bit bigger so you can accommodate wider legged posts uh wider leg coil builds and so forth so this is a new version 1.2 uh which is a great rda i love it to me that is the kennedy killer okay for just for the record that is the kennedy killer for me okay the sleeper rda is a great rda i got in black and in stainless um i just like the way it vapes i mean it just it just it's such a great rda it's a great rda you know it works really well up top sits flush as well you know no biggie uh this is how it looks with the stainless one that's the stainless one i think that looks pretty cool even though this is brass Still looks dope. That's a stainless sleeper. If I want to stick a mod father on here, I got a I got a two post battle deck with a mod father cap, which happens to be in brass. Alright, this one I wet sanded down a little bit, but that's how it looks with that. And it's not polished, but still works. That's all that matters, right? You know, it looks great with a lot of RDAs. And what's nice with the battle decks, if it's a little high up the battle deck, you could always push the mod father caps down to make up the height difference and gap, okay? But it doesn't really gap at all because it does sit flush to it, even with the elongated pin of the uh, battle deck. Uh, my most favorite RDA that I love to use on here is one by the name of uh, Brain Box. Uh, the Brain Box RDA, this is the head RDA. I love this RDA on here. For some reason, it just vapes really well on here, and it just looks nice. It's a tiny, tiny bit of a lip on there, but I don't really care. It's great. Great RDA. Works really, really well. Um, you know, nice Delrin top. I mean, it's it's just a great 
performing RDA. Um, but yeah, I mean, and if you want, you can stick a uh, Captain Cap, Captain version 2 cap. When it's polished up, it does look beautiful on there, you know. So I got the uh, battle drip tips, the uh, battle deck drip tips, or the comp life drip tips that accommodate the Captain Caps. Really nice, solid brass. When it's shined up, it looks beautiful. Um, you know, the that, I mean... You know, anything I put on there, it looks nice, okay? And it works with every RDA out there. And it just sits beautifully. That's it. So this mechanical tomb mod, Negus Mod and Sons, handcrafted, CNC'd, but also handcrafted, hand-painted, hand-designed, hand-polished. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears and hard work goes into this mechanical tube mod. I'll say, I said it once, I'll say it again. If you haven't picked one up, highly suggest you pick one up, okay? Highly suggest. Down in the description down below, I have links as to where you can pick it up links you can pick it up uh there are stores in america that carry this mod uh if anybody knows of any stores please list it down in the comments section i will then add it to the description area as well for people interested in picking up this mod if they don't want to pay like international freight or international shipping whatever the case may be so hit me up i'll put the link to their instagram their facebook where you can reach out to negus mod and sons if you want to talk to them and just uh just you know say hey nice mod man you know, good-ass company. Uh, the owner of the company is a young guy. It's a family-owned company, but it's a young guy who owns this one. And everybody in the family pitches in and works and helps in creating this product. So for me, YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Forza Italia. And that's it. That's all I can say. Peace out. Laters.